the General Secretary of the Oceania Weightlifting Federation says it will be sensational if Papua New Guinea's Dika Tua is awarded another Commonwealth Games gold medal but lamented the athlete has been denied her moment on the podium. Tua originally finished second in the women's 53 kilograms division on the Gold Coast, behind the gold medal winner Sanhita Chanu Kumacham from India. Dika Tua Photo, RNZ, Vincent Terence Wiley But the International Weightlifting Federation confirmed last week the 24-year-old Kumachim returned a positive test for testosterone at last year's World Championships and had been provisionally suspended. And had been provisionally suspended. Her coach, Oceania weightlifting boss Paul Kaffa, said it was a real concern that lifters are still being found guilty of doping. Contrary to the Oceania region where we haven't had anything at all for 11 years, he said. We've got a zero tolerance in the Oceania region, we are the only continent clean and we are very proud of that. Paul Kaffa, who is also the General Secretary of the Commonwealth Weightlifting Federation, said if Kumachum's B sample is also positive she will have her gold medal taken away and be banned from competing for two years. Very seldom you get a B sample different than the A sample. It's the same urine sample so if it is positive it is positive in the B sample also, he said. Unfortunately they have got to go through the proper process and that's what the bad thing is, you've just got to wait, the only thing I regret is it's not the same as winning a gold medal at the Commonwealth Games, the euphoria, the crowd and the television and it's different, he reflected. It's different than getting a medal by post. It doesn't mean anything. Although on paper she's a gold medalist but it takes everything away from the lifter, from the athlete, whether it's weightlifting or whatever, Oceania and Commonwealth Weightlifting Federation General Secretary Paul Kaffa. Photo, RNZ Pacific, Vinny Wiley It's a case of deja vu for Dika Tua, who won gold at the 2014 Commonwealth Games in Glasgow in the same manner. She originally won silver on the day but was upgraded to gold the following month after Nigeria's Chika Amalaha was found guilty of doping. It's funny that it's the same thing happened, it's incredible. The same person twice, that's unthinkable, said Kafa. It doesn't happen too often I can tell you but it happened for Dika four years ago and it was repeated again four years later. It shows you that it pays to be clean and you keep a good record and eventually gold medals will defeat doping. Paul Kaffa, who has coached lifters to over 100 Commonwealth Games medals, said it could take anywhere from a couple of weeks to a number of months until the results of the B sample are confirmed. The veteran coach said Dika Tua and fellow Gold Coast medalists Maria Baru and Stephen Carey will return to the Oceania Weightlifting Institute shortly to begin preparations for the Oceania Championships in Numia at the end of June. I spoke to her the other day, it's not the same, he said. She feels for it, she will be a gold medal, it will be recorded as Papua New Guinea a great performance in the Oceania region winning 7 gold but it's not the same like Stephen Carey did at the games. It brought the house down, it brought television, it was a different story but we have to put up with it and it's better than a silver medal I can tell you. If she pulls out another gold it will be sensational, Stephen Carey and coach Paul Kaffa after his win at the Gold Coast Commonwealth Games. Photo, RNZ Pacific, Vinnie Wiley